Hello, this is Erin with the Joy in Pens and Paper, and today I'm going to do some ink swatching of uh, some samples that I received from a viewer. So, um, recently in a video, I had commented about an ink that I tried in a pen, and I didn't, based on a difficulty with the pen, I didn't feel that I got a good um, experience with that ink and so I was looking to try it out again and so Kristen responded that she had that ink and she would be willing to share a sample with me and I got a package from her uh, with this lovely note um, yesterday and in that package I received some samples which I will swatch in just a moment but I also received some washi tape stickers. So I got these little positive phrases and these florals with the teapot and houses. These baked goods and you'll see some um, crumpling here as well as on the end here. It did not arrive that way, Kristen. My cats, uh, while I was sleeping last night, decided that this would be a fun snack. So um, I've got to find a safe spot away from them. But this has mushrooms and this snail is adorable. I love it. And then these awesome mugs and pitcher and baking dish. Love these. So thank you so much. It's a lovely added bonus. And um, for the swatching, I am going to use a Kakimori brass nib dip pen. And I'm gonna do a swatch in my Waringal color swatch book. This came with an Ink Flight subscription box. I'm also going to use this Everyday Galen Everyday book with Tomoe River paper. I'm just going to put this there so that I have some guidance for lines <clears throat> and we'll open this up. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right. Now with that all set up, I'm first going to pull out this one. So one of the most exciting things about this, first of all, it's exciting to even do an ink swap, especially with a viewer. This is why I really love having this channel and being part of this community is everyone is so open to sharing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> love that for all of us. Um, but Kristen sent me a sample of White Lightning. And I have seen so many channels recently that have been exploring using this and my understanding is you just need a tiny little bit so for me i think that this sample vial is probably enough for me to get an appreciation for what white lightning can do for inks and um so kristen thank you thank you thank you so 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 much um because this is white lightning and it's used to lubricate a dry ink I'm not going to use this today, but um, in subsequent videos, if this is something that I add to an ink, I will be sure to share that and to give Kristen a shout out. Um, so again, thank you so, so, so much. Um, I, yeah, words can't express my appreciation for that. I was very wonderfully surprised. All right, so the the ink that I was hoping to try out is Van Diemen's Honey Bee Eater Wing. This came, oh, and that's a good size sample. Look at you, Kristen. All right. Okay. Um, and in her note, she talks about why she selected the inks that she did, which I also very, very, very much love. So thank you again. Uh, I'm just going to keep saying thank you. So I received a small sample of Van Diemen's Honey Bee Eater Wing through Ink Flight, and I used it in Laban, my Laban 
uh, rosa and lilac and color wise it was a really good match but it was when I first got the Laban Rosa and there was something that was off with the pen I ended up sending it back to gold spot they did they did a little repair sent it back um, so I basically used up the ink on a pen that had some issues so I, I don't know if this is an ink that I will enjoy or not um, and I do already have this swatched in this book so I'm gonna skip the swatch here and just do one here. Apologies if that's a little um, confusing. But then she also sent a sample of Pilot Aroshizuku Yamabuto, and I believe her words were, "This is something everyone um, should ha should try once. It's a classic." Uh, so I'm very excited for that. And then the other three are Robert Oster from the uh, Mud Pack collection. And so the first one is Muddy Wine, which um, is, this was the inspiration for including the uh, White Lightning. Um, in Kristen's experience, muddy wine can be quite dry, so that might be the one to try out White Lightning with. Uh, muddy Sand, which is a potential dupe for, oh, nope, sorry. Muddy Bucket is a potential dupe for Inaho. So she had shared that um, she'd be interested in seeing a video comparing Muddy Bucket to Inaho, and I have a couple others that I'm already planning to pull as part of that comparison. And then Muddy Sand is another one. So we are going to get in and do those swatches. And I get to use my Pirate Penguin. My Inca Pet, which was a gift from Kathleen, another viewer. Such a beautiful green. So this is And demons. Honey be either thing. Now we are actually a beekeeping family. So we have, our bees are getting installed uh, in April. My husband had to take uh, a year off of beekeeping. And um, so now he's getting back into it and we're actually going from one hive to two this year. So we will be installing two sets of bees, two queens, and um, he will be ensuring that all the bees accept the queens and everything goes well for April and May. Uh, and then things should settle down. It should be less work. Okay, so the next one that I'll do is Pilot Eroshizuku Yamabuto. Oh, that is bright. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, 
I'm glad that's right next to Anna Karenina. That's nice next to each other. I always do just a little dab um, along the edge of my sample just because I want to see if there's any shading. This is a very lubricated ink. Beautiful. And apologies that I'm not as talkative, but I am just thoroughly enjoying watching these inks, especially colors that I haven't used before. Ah, I love it. Okay, so we're going to start with Robert Oster Muddy Wine. I think that'll be nice along this row. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Oh, it's like a um, brownish red. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Kristen, you know me. This is beautiful. I think I can, I think I am picking up what he meant by, it's a little dry. Especially using it right after the Eroshizuku ink. That's a really interesting color. It's like a blush. Bordeaux brown. Ooh, that's interesting. I really like those three colors together. The Yamabudo has a little bit of a gold sheen to it. I like that. All right, let's do Muddy Sand. I wanna save the Muddy Bucket for last. Oh, that is a gorgeous brown absolutely gorgeous. It's a little bit like um, Birmingham Pen Company Distress Leather. Oh, 
That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Yep, yep. Oh, I wonder. Brown inks. Too big. Yeah, so here's the distressed leather right there. So this is lighter than the distressed, le le distressed leather. I can talk. And I think I do. Tan right here. Well, some of these really went pink. That's so fascinating. Anywho, that that's beautiful. Turns out I actually don't really have an ink similar to that. So that's great. So happy. All right, and last but certainly not least. Yeah, I like those three next to each other is Muddy Bucket. Oh, that is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And this actually reminds me a lot of Van Diemen's Tiger Snake. Yeah, that's stunning. Stunning, stunning. I'm not scotched. I guess not, huh? Oh, 
tan, yellow, red. Guess I haven't done the bright greens or greens, I guess. Um, so let me see if I can find it quickly. I mean, the olive swirl is not too far off. It's darker. Pepyong Siande and Goose Bougon are also in a similar family. There's Inaho, which is a little bit more brown. I'm trying to find, there's tiger snake. So it's got a little bit more, I guess, uh, yellow coming through there versus this is more green. But it's beautiful. Ah, fantastic. So those are the five new samples that are in my collection. I am thrilled with them. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kristen. I, I, I cannot say it enough, um, but I'm so happy to have another large sample of this. I'll be able to try it out in a couple of different pens. Um, I love Robert Oster so much. Um, Pilot is one that... I feel like by the time that I'm ready to try out one of their inks, I find out that it was discontinued and I don't know why I wait so long, but I need a little bit more pilot in my uh, collection for sure, for sure. Um, so thank you for watching my ink swatching. I appreciate that so much and I hope that you have a lovely day. Bye.